So there's a car, check this out, this is amazing. Check this out. This is the Tizoys C8, a streamlined, amazing looking e-bike, modern, sleek design. I love the colors, just wow. And imagine this, this is a carbon fiber frame. It is super light, super light. It's unbelievable, just 15 kilograms all in all. It is like a feather. You can curl it with just one arm. And best of all, it comes with the bleeding edge of e-bike tech. It is like a smartphone with a dedicated OS. It supports Google Maps. It has a fingerprint unlock, always connected to 4G. Great hydraulic disc brakes, a super responsive torque sensor and an in-house developed mid-drive motor with belt drive and a three-gear gearbox. They thought about every single detail with this one and 250 watts of motor power combined with the gearbox with this excellent gearing system right there is just straight power. 250 watts never felt stronger. Can't wait to ride it, can't wait to show you, so let's go. Got the new drip from Tizoys, their brand new C8 e-bike. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. Yeah, now let's check it out. Here we have the box. As you can see, it is quite large. I can't fit it anywhere else but in my basement. So we have to do the unboxing right here. And also this is an early prototype and probably also the box is subject to change. But check it out, this is what it looks like. It comes with four straps and wood on the bottom. So really nice protection for this prestige bike right there. And now without further ado, let's open it up. It is so well protected, I love it. Usually I would open up the box right here so that you can see the insides perfectly. But since I have to send this one back for further testing by the company, I will have to open up this one rather carefully. So here we have it, the insides. So up here we have a box with all the accessories. Then we have the front wheel right there. We have a few foam parts, of course. But other than that, the box is empty and now the frame and check this out. It's so light, that is crazy. One arm curls easily possible but now i need to be careful fully carbon everything is beautiful and shiny i don't want to scratch up anything so i will place it down carefully just like that yeah now let's get to all the accessories and the manual let's start with the wheel so as you can see we will get a beautiful shiny disc brake Look at that, looks amazing. Black spokes, regular bicycle valve right there. And that's the profile of the wheels. So quite thin and light. And the other side right there. This is where the quick release will hold for the quick release. Next up, we have the battery. Really sleek and smooth on this side with the charge port. Right there, we do have a button with a status LED. And if we press it, then this will light up in three colors and as you can see it's green it's well charged up the top right there on this side we have the small print and lastly we have the side with the connector for the bike nice battery 360 watt hours by the way standard capacity and now let's check out the box with the accessories this is the place for the battery by the way so first of all we will get a kickstand with the provided screws we will screw that into the frame in a bit we will of course also get the quick release for the front wheel that's the charge brick with the status led right there and here we have all these specs of the brick with the connector and of course a cable for the wall outlet and that's the connector for the battery and then we will also get tools three hex keys and of course two beautiful pedals right there they look really nice and that's that so to recap the battery the brick the kickstand tools pedals and of course the quick release so we are ready for the setup. I will do this rather fast. But first, there is something that I want to show you. So this right here is the battery compartment. And inside here, we can see the raw carbon. It looks absolutely amazing. And it sounds like carbon too. I mean, I love it. Like a hypercar. Here we have the battery release latch. We can charge it through here. And this is where it will connect to the bike and supply the energy, the current. So yeah, let's set it all up. Done with the setup, it was super simple and fast. And right after inserting the battery, it will power on and give you this QR code right there. And what's crazy is this is actually a touch screen. It is so beautiful, it's like a phone. That is awesome. But yeah, let's move places. Done with the unboxing and the setup. Now let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. 
So there we go, look at this bike. It is absolutely beautiful. The setup was so simple and fast. Everything is self-contained. There are no cables, an internal gearbox, belt drive, no oil, no maintenance, wherever you look, spectacular brakes. And I drove here without any power whatsoever. Smooth ride, even without the battery assistance. You can ride this bike so comfortably. Well, goes without saying, since it's so light. And from the back to the top or to the front, it is just a super streamlined bike. This is 2024's most beautiful e-bike for sure. So yeah, let's take a close close look. We already saw the front wheel and this is it attached to the frame. We have a beautiful caliper right there. Look at that. Looks so nice. No adjustment was needed whatsoever. Check this out. It's perfect right out of the box. And we do have this black and white color scheme. So the lower side as well as the steering bar, the handlebar is black. The rest is white. Well, saddle wheel is also black. But yeah, we do have the grip right there feels amazing in the hand we also have this up and down selector switch right there really cool and the brakes they just look spectacular hydraulic disc brakes on both sides of course and on this side we also have the fingerprint reader sensor and this is also a button with this button you can turn on the bike we will get to that in a bit beautiful screen right there is it has the size of a smartphone almost with the brand just mesmerizing then right here we have the battery of course rest of the frame with the brand right there saddle right there you can also adjust the saddle of course move it forward or backwards well medium firmness medium to hard i would say then right here we have not only the back light yeah and of course i missed the front light so let's check that out first nice beautiful led with a diffuser and focus element at the same time and the backlight right there and here we also have the millimeter wave radar slash sensor that can actually show you if a vehicle behind you is approaching you crazy new tech in this bike then down here we have the pedals and it is absolutely dead silent just amazing back caliper with the disc looking beautiful kickstand attached right there and this looks like a motor but this is actually the internal gearbox and crazy enough this has an auto shift integrated it actually shifted when i drove here without power at all and here on the other side we have the gear and of course the belt drive and check it out the other side right there everything is protected by the way this one is metal right here so one of the few metal parts of this bike and the motor is actually built in here so this is a mid-drive motor utilizing the gearbox perfectly yeah and with that said let's turn it on and start it up not bad right so let's finally test it so let's do it press and hold the fingerprint reader and this will turn on the screen right there let's skip this one for now wow Damn, it has gotten really windy all of a sudden. But check it out, that's the home screen right there. Sorry for any wind noises. We have the date, we have the time. Oh, and we can also swipe from the top and from the bottom. We have the map, we have the gears and we can control it with this. So we have the three gears and zero. And also when we press down, it will activate the walk assist, doing a nice little burnout right there. So cool, I love it. And we also can see the battery percentage and the range that's left. And check it out, we can zoom into the map or rather we can enter. Oh my goodness, it has a keyboard. And we can also type in an address. But first of all, let's check out all the other features. So from the top, we can turn on and off the headlights. That's that. And of course the taillight right there. We can also unlock the battery. This will make it pop out. So cool. We can turn on and off the sound. By the way, this is the honk. So cool. And we can also shut it down right here. And the display has an automatic brightness setting right there, but we can also do it manually, of course. And from the bottom, we have all of this. We have safety tips. We have the firmware. We can reset it. We can set up the time. Look at that. And we can also choose a different honk sound. Ring ring, for example, or ding ring. This one is nice. And we can also press location refresh. Yeah, and with that said, let's go to gear zero and let's go for a little ride. So when you press down, it will activate the walk assist. And as I said, I came here without any power at all. So even riding in gear zero without any assist at all is no problem whatsoever. And check it out, it just switched to the driving mode, showing us the speed. And now let's go up a gear and this is what it sounds like. So we can hear the mid-drive motor just a bit. Brake test. Oh, the brakes are so nice and smooth. And the torque sensing, it will kick in 
immediately it feels amazing so let's go up let's go up all the way to the third gear oh wow i can feel the power oh my goodness oh my goodness this bike goes hard are you kidding me no way no way the acceleration is too crazy wow and it's really silent okay 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 i have to switch it up right now wow no way i didn't expect this amount of power that is crazy so let's go acceleration from zero basically so check this out it will switch gears automatically it's so nice so i just realized that the gears are actually the pedal assist strength and the gearbox will shift on its own just as i noticed on my way here so gear one i guess gear two and gear three and the acceleration and the speed is well a little too crazy for this for for this area right here okay clear runway right there let's let's do it wow it is so fast and so quick unbelievable and as you can see it looks really nice i'm so impressed by the performance it not only looks great it also performs like an absolute beast i'm mind blown so the gearbox will shift according to the speed it's shifting very fast and it just feels great the torque sensor is so responsive and nice and the display and all the smart features are otherworldly this is just amazing and as you can see it's fully it's a fully bright day but the display is perfectly visible it's looking perfect so the c8 gets a massive massive thumbs up from my side this bike is just awesome and last but not least let's check out the companion app so let's sign up give it all the permissions of course so there we go and now let's turn on the bike and let's go scan the code allow and there we go by the way we could also press right here do it this way yeah now we can check out all the specs of the bike here we can also upgrade the firmware we can also share it with family members and we also have all the settings here we can change the units and we can also set the fingerprint right there and we can also set the alarm and lastly we have account security we can even change the picture and as you can see when we click on it when we click on the picture we can set birthday height weight gender and all of that good stuff and with the app we can of course fully access the navigation we can also activate the cycling mode right there then we have the full screen navigation right there we can go back and also of course enter something this one maybe and then we will get the route and here we can send it to the bike and then you can access the route on the screen you can enlarge it make it full screen so that's the current app it's still under development so i'm expecting great things and i can't wait to see what they will come up with in the future as you saw, this bike looks amazing in every situation and in every regard. And just standing there, it is an absolute eye catcher. And riding it feels as amazing. It is like a beautiful sports car, full carbon, pure eye candy. It is so light, you can probably just curl it with one finger. Actually, let me try. Yes, oh my goodness so light and this of course gives it a really good power to weight ratio other than the exceptional build quality and hardware it is also super smart it has an onboard os a great companion app as well it supports all sorts of apps like google maps fingerprint unlock straight out of the box and of course much much more and crazy enough it has a millimeter wave radar on the back built into the tail light that ensures travel safety like no other e-bike ever before it will notify you about approaching vehicles and stuff like that it is next level it's um, mind-blowing another one and it will actually detect it quite early check this out crazy new concepts right here and Tiso's philosophy is intelligent eco-friendly and stylish and with this bike they totally nailed it because the c8 is a definitely drippy check out the product links in the description if you're interested i will listen link the best deals for you but before you go smash that like button then subscribe ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos that's it for this one enjoy your day and i will see you soon